Hey, good morning, guys. I'm going to walk through some simple process using my Lee uh, Classic Turret Press right here. It has the auto index feature on it right here. Basically, what it does whenever you uh, bring the round back down, it rotates it one quarter turn to the next station. Uh, I'm going to take some uh, clean brass here that's. Uh, I use some of the Dillon uh, case lubricant and on it, and I've already sprayed it on it right there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk through the process of resizing, trimming, charging my case using my Lee 1200 DPS 3. Uh, I'm going to be trimming uh, with my Lee Zip trim. Uh, I know there's a lot more expensive stuff out here, but this thing right here works really well. Uh, you basically have a cutter head and a gauge. Uh, a cutter head, the gauge is marked 223, and so it's going to cut it back to the, the 223 standards. I'm going to be using a little camphor tool right here, uh, a lead pocket uh, cleaner, and even a little old uh, q tip right here. So I'm going to start here. I'm loading uh, 24.9 grains of old Winchester 846 powder. Uh, the neat thing about this uh, this lineman, you don't have problems with any type powder dispensing out right here. It can be extruded, spherical, it can be anything you want right here. Whereas you'll have problems on a Dillon right here where you have problems metering uh, extruded stuff. And, and not just Dillon, RCBS, all the others too. Uh, so I'm going to start doing this. Just reach over here and grab one piece. It's, it's got that uh, lubricant on it. I'm going to go ahead and stick a primer in the uh, priming tool. Uh, they make a little auto primer system for this. I don't see that it speeds up anything. You can pick up one and put it in here just as quick as you can move it over and snap it into place and then drop it. Uh, so. I don't have that feature on here, so we're going to go into the sizing die. That uh, Dillon uh, case lubricant works great. Look at it. This is going to be a, uh, it's got a crimp uh, primer, so I'm going to have to adjust, uh, deal with that right there. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it over here in the Lee Zip trim die and grab my cutter with the gauge on it. I'm going to stick it in here. And that one was perfect. It didn't need trimming. Uh, but if you did, what I do, I just use this right here to trim the inside of the case. Uh, the inside of the case neck. And then use the this end here to trim the outside. So, that's good. And I'm actually going to use this camphor tool right here to uh, trim that little pocket off right there. Basically, I'm just going to set it on there sort of at an angle, and I'm just going to cut it, cut it right off. I'm going to do it a couple times to make sure it's good and smooth. Got to take my glasses off. Got it. I don't know if that's going to show, but I've got it shows that it, it's cut. I cut that little primer uh, crimp off. So now I'm going to clean the pocket. It's already pretty clean. I clean this with the uh, vinegar. And don't dishwash the detergent and stuff like that. Alright. Uh, everything's clean. I'm going to just sort of swab it out. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit it again. And then go down. On the downstroke, it, uh, it primes it right there. And so, everything looks good. It, it went in good. So now I'm going to come into the rifle charge die. I'm going to punch in 24.9 grains. I can set that on auto index where it, it, it does it each time, but but whenever I'm moving this, it'll actually accidentally bump powder in there, so I'm just gonna do it individually. There, 24.9 on the dispenser. Dump the powder through the die. Pick up a bullet. That's a Nosler uh, 55 grain flat base hollow point. 
flies really good. It shoots good in my uh, Savage uh, Model 11 BT. And I'm going to hold it going into the bullet seating die, come down. And this is the uh, uh, factory crimp die. And what it does is squeezes 360 degrees around that, that shoulder right there. Let me just clean it up real quick. And so there, there a loaded round is. And fairly simple process. So now I'm going to shut up and I'm just going to go right through the system. Let's do it one more time. There another round. These uh, turret diet, turret presses are really great when you compare them to a, a single stage. You can uh, actually change your caliber so quick, or you can use it as a single stage press by just taking out this little indexing tool, put your turret back in there, and then you steadily just use that station each time. If you if you just wanted to punch your primers out. Uh, and these lead dies here, you don't have to worry about breaking those uh, decapping pins. If if you run into a Burdan Prime case, which it happens, all that it'll do is it'll, it'll push the decapping pin upward, and so you don't have to go and buy another uh, pin or a package of five pins there to uh, you know to get back into operation. I love this stuff. Uh, I use Lee dies, Horny D dies, RCBS dies, but in all this stuff here on my uh, Dillon stuff, I'm going to be using uh, the uh, at least a, uh, a Lee uh, sizing die and a factory crimp die on, on my stuff, on my Dillon over here. Uh, you, you can talk about Lee all you want. That stuff works, uh, especially if you're using pistol cases. I highly recommend the Lee carbide, uh, full length carbide die. It'll take out, if you find any brass that you pick up at the range that's been shot through a Gen 1 or Gen 2 Glock, it's going to have that bulge in it. The Lee die, as far as I know, is the one that's going to take it out. And uh, you won't have to worry about jams and stuff like that and feeding issues. So they're inexpensive. You get. Uh, Heck, you get a four die set uh, with the shell holder for what you would for less than what you would pay for an RCBS or a uh, Hornady set, and it's, and in my opinion, it's just as good. The only thing wrong with the Lee die is they're fairly short when it comes to uh, using them in a Dillon because the two head on the Dillon is really thick, and you basically are you using the whole die and, and the and the little locking nut up here, well, it takes a while. I mean, you have to turn it upside down to use it to be able to lock it into place because you don't have much of a thread to lock it there. This is a great tool right here. You saw how quick it, it, it you went through the whole process from decapping, sizing, trimming, uh, taking the, uh, uh, cleaning the, the crimps off, and then using the Lyman over here for the powder charge and then you the bullet seating and then the factory crimp. This thing shoots 
these bullets here shoot three eighths inch group out of my out of my Savage bolt action at 100 yards. So this thing is putting out quality, quality accurate ammunition right there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, uh, like me and subscribe to me. Thank you.